Welcome back, guys. This is City Skylines, and it's episode number 23. Today, we've got some traffic problems we have got to deal with. Uh, we've been expanding Trapezoid Land. I did some highway stuff off-camera to try to uh, add more exits and do more of this fiddly stuff. And lo and behold, I noticed that the garbage trucks were backed up. So the garbage trucks were trying to get into the expanded and fastly growing Trapezoid Land. Um, you can see that we've got the traffic backed up really bad. It was way worse than this. It was so bad that the garbage trucks were backed up all the way to here. Like, there was literally a solid line of garbage trucks all the way down this highway. Um, and at first they were coming here because I had not built this. I added this to try to alleviate the problem, and I think it has helped because we, are no, we no longer have the garbage trucks getting backed up along the highway. Um, they're now getting into here, but we do have some extreme congestion. So we fixed the problem along the highway. We've got to address the, the traffic in trapezoid land. Uh, and that's one of the things I would like to do. Before I do that, let me just show you real quick. Um, I managed to fit in exit ramps specifically to get only to industry down here. We've had this backed up for a long time. Uh, let me just unpause it. Now, there's still some backed up traffic, but it's much better than it used to be. It's only backed up a little bit. And it's still guys trying to go under there. But we've got more of the vehicles, uh, at least the ones go coming eastbound, are using this guy. The westbound one isn't really getting used. Uh, because they're taking the first exit they can. There is actually a mod, which I've been thinking of using. I'm not using it now, but it's a traffic mod where you can specify, like I could specify that this exit ramp is only industry uh, and this exit ramp is everything else. So the industry would come down here and only use this and it would be funneled down there and everything else would uh, come through this roundabout. That might actually be something I look into in the future I just wanted to mention it because people suggested I do this, and I, I tried it a few times, and I finally got it to work. Uh, okay, so there's that. Let's head. Let's pause the game. Let's pause for just a moment. I wanted. I want to expand down to here. That's what I wanted to do, and here. Uh, but we got to deal with this traffic issue. So what I think we want to do, the, the the best thing I can think of, the solution, is we're gonna take this intersection, maybe even. Uh, we'll leave this one the way it is, but this one where these big roads meet and this one where the big roads meet and We are going to replace the lights With some roundabouts um, Let's see now this one is a large roundabout. I don't want a clover leaf. Oh, by the way, I've been uh, I've been putting a few things on the the steam workshop so I've made a uh, two interchanges, and these won't work in my map because this map is way too mountainous. There's nothing flat here, and these things tend to require flat ground. At least the, the more complicated they are, the more likely they are to, to need flat ground. This is a, a, a basically a cooler version of this, the cloverleaf interchange. Um, all those circles are where the little sections connect. You won't actually see those. Those will disappear when you place it. Uh, but that's the first one I made this interchange. I think it's pretty cool. It's also got a roundabout underneath it. If you want to, like, uh, connect that up to local roads. And if you want to have, like, districts going off in each direction of it as well, that could be pretty cool. You could have this be, like, the center of your city, and you can have a district going diagonally off of that in either direction. Uh, that could be cool. Oh, and if you do this, it spins like a pinwheel. Woo! Okay, there's that one. And then I made this one, the Cobra Interchange. Uh, I call this one the Cobra because it's like a coiled snake. Uh, this took a long time. This took a really long time. I don't think I'll ever be able to place this in the map either. Uh, I see slope too steep everywhere. But on flat ground, it does work. Um, so one of the highways comes from this view from the left, spins around twice, goes over itself to the right, and then the really, the really tricky part, well, besides getting those curves to be so nice and parallel for the coiled snake part, was to get it, get the uh, the other section to go underneath 
the coiled snake with all those supports, which is kind of hard to see here. Um, load up a flat world, load this guy in, and take a look at it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Very complicated, that guy. All right, anyway. Um, so this, let's put some roundabouts in here. We've got this one, which is small roads, and I could always upgrade the road. I'm, mostly I'm looking at the size of the circle. I think that's about right. This one is a highway. That's too big. I think we're going to do them custom. That's probably best. And we're going to have to delete a lot of stuff to get this to work. But we have to do something about the traffic. Uh, the traffic has become such a nightmare that we gots to do it. All right. So actually, let's do this. Okay, so that's the, the center of the roundabout right there. Why aren't you going to 90 degrees? Because I turned off snap. It should default to 90 degrees. Um, oh, I guess now we... Yeah, I don't want to go in 90 degree, uh, 180 degrees. I don't want to go in straight through here. I want to go in at 90 degrees there. There we go. Okay, so let's just say... Uh, I'm going to have to delete this stuff, but that's okay. Okay, so that was, what, eight? Get rid of that. Eight. Ooh, this park. Uh, let's move the park. Just put you down. Do I need these power lines? Oh, I bet I... Oh, I just severed... I bet I just severed power to the whole place. Just put you over there for now. Uh, let's look at the power grid first. Let's actually... Yeah, let's... Change this because we're deleting so much stuff. I'm just going to connect you through there. And that's actually a little bit shorter. Uh, so I guess that's all right. Let's just let that connect real quick. This is going to kill. I didn't want to unpause it. But I, I want to just make sure that power line connects up. Okay. Um, so let's delete this as well. You're happy, but guess what? You're evicted. Get out. Nobody loves you. Especially not me. Okay, there's eight. Uh, I need to move you as well. You are getting moved. I'm just... I'll put you over there for now. that probably work. I'll, I'll try to remember to move them back. What is this? Elementary school. All right, you're getting moved move down here. Oh, you're unhappy and then happy. You're, you're a bunch of... Um, you're so fickle. Can't decide one way or the other. Okay, eight each way. Then we'll grab this tool. Goodbye. Suck it. All right, we're going to come out 90 degrees. Hold down control to force it to that. Go out eight. Uh, that forces it to 90 degrees. Eight on one length. Eight, 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 on, eight on the other. 90 degrees. Um, through every, basically all the angles are lining up, and you can see all the information there. Uh, the mod I'm using that allows you to do that is called Precision Engineering, and it is super awesome. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna do the starfish thing. Should we do the starfish? I think actually the starfish thing is better. I think the starfish thing is better. Uh, because what it does is it allows you to um, not sl the cars don't slow down coming in and out so I think the starfish is actually going to be important here where we've got such heavy traffic uh, this connection is going bye bye so the angle is such that they won't slow down coming around that corner uh, I think that's going to be important for making sure that we fix our traffic woes. Now, why are you doing that? Oh, I bet you're doing that because this guy is here. Um, let me get rid of that section. So, the, one of the things you want to do is you want to keep these roads in the middle while you're building your roundabouts. So that the curve of your circle doesn't get all weird and funky. Okay, so that's those two. It's kind of, it's going to make trapezoid land a little bit less trapezoidy. But I think that's okay. 
Um, that means we also need to lose this guy and this guy. We just ha we have to rework basically all of this because of these unforeseen dump trunk dump truck traffic issues. Okay, good. Um, now we we're kind of missing. I guess they're all gonna go through there. Now that's a very long distance to go without having a way to get here. Hmm. They really could use an extra way there, but let's go ahead and come in here and work on this. Oh man, we have to move so many things. Okay, the high school. I'm just, I'm gonna, hopefully I remember to put this stuff back. Slope too steep. Okay, it doesn't want to go anywhere there. What about over here? All right, go over there. Oh, they don't like that. This is the hospital. They're not going to like this one either. Take that. Uh, any other important buildings over here? And let's connect these up with the tiny roads. There. Okay, and then we're going to go eight... I think I did, or did I do seven? I think it was eight. Get out of here. Um, well, this, this is just kind of thing you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta break some eggs if you wanna make an omelet. And we, I had such massive problems, I decided, all right, we need to Dra um, drastic responses require drastic something measures. Well, how does the fr oh the see you can tell I did it wrong. Are these not all eight? One two three. I'm counting the little squares. One two three four five six seven. One two three four five. Oh, this one's too short. Or did I do seven in each one? Maybe I screwed it up. I think seven is probably fine. It's good, uh, if the other one was eight, it's probably good to have it not be totally, sim like, have them both be the same size. Because it looks kind of cooler if you zoom out and they're all slightly different sizes. Um, Alright, let's do this one again. Seven. Okay. Highway tool. Freeform. Okay, then we want to go seven. There we go. Now we're getting 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Good. All right, there we go. There we go. So now I come back in. This one's a little bit more straightforward. Straight tool. I need to key bind. I wonder, can I key bind changing between the straight road, the curve tool, and the uh, the freeform road? That would be handy if I could swap between those a bit faster. Uh, we're gonna need to get rid of that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, I think this section could probably be slightly longer. That much. Okay, you don't like that. You don't like that because this guy's too close. Hmm. Come on, guy. Uh, all right. Anybody going from here to here might slightly slow down going around that curve, and we're we'll gonna have to get rid of you, and you. And maybe some of that length needs to get, get removed. Get out of here. Goodbye. All right, let's extend this just a tad to about there. All right, and then something like, boop, boop. No, here. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay, um, so there's three connections and a fourth connection. This is such a learning experience. Uh, I do plan to do, like, once I feel like I'm pretty experienced with the game, I will move on to, like, a super city where I'll, I'll plan things out a lot better, knowing, like, all the different systems I have to account for. Uh, but this one is definitely a learning experience. All right, now I can get rid of that. In the middle, we've got another starfish. I would really like to have this one be able to connect, and uh, we might need to add one there, but let's start with those two. 
Um. Hmm. And I'm thinking we need to do some fixing. Like, for instance, to get over here, it's kind of awkward. You've got to go around. And maybe I want to add a small road here. And we'll see if that causes a lot of problems having a stoplight right before the roundabout. Uh, I don't want to have a connection there because of the stoplight issues. S hmm. But I would like to come through here. I would like another starfish connection. So I think uh, all these guys are going to get evicted. Uh, we're going to move this park for a little bit over there. Um... I've got like $800,000, so I'm not worried about my money at all. And we're making like... I'm making money faster than I can spend at this point, unless I just start putting down a bunch of those real expensive buildings. Then we could burn through it. But unless I do that, we're kind of okay. Uh, I don't have any big roads here. I kind of had that one. Maybe I just redraw <laughs> this whole thing with another big road? Wow, do I just evict all these people? And then redraw the trapezoid district? The entire thing? Yes. Looks like when you hold down the uh, the bulldozer, it keeps deleting the same type of thing. Like, it's not deleting these trees. I got the mouse held down. Not deleting the houses. It's only deleting the roads. So if you want to, like, laser beam him in on just the trees... You can do that without worrying about all the houses and whatnot. Okay, let's get rid of the houses. I can't wait to unpause it and see how many people we just got rid of. All right, guys. Uh, sorry, but we uh, we have to get rid of all this. And I guess now is... Let me just look. I think I can unpause it. I'm not going to get rid of these inner roads until... Uh... Ooh, look at the cars. Chaos. They're just this uh, this forestry truck is floating above the road because they still think they're in the old system. Uh, but this should help. It's gonna take a minute for traffic to filter through. But I removed a lot of the the traffic lights, which was making people stop. There's one here, but there's no track. Like if a, if there's a truck right here, like this guy. And he just wants to go straight through. He doesn't have to stop. He just goes around the, the roundabout. And bam. Magic. And then he gets to the next one. And another roundabout. Very nice. Okay. And he just goes straight through. Uh, there's still some traffic here. I'm wondering if they, people are trying to go through here instead of around there because of the highway. I don't know. Um, hopefully we we fix some issues, and we can come back in and maybe fix this. I would like this road to be just, like, straight all the way through. I don't... Oh, I know how I can do it. Okay, let's pause it again. Um, I don't want to delete the circle I've just made, so what we're going to do is this. I'm going to do some engineering here. Uh, we want to go straight... Um, let's delete you for just this moment, just so I'm not confused by angles. 180, that's what I want, and I want to go up. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go up. Mm, we're going to have to somehow manage to get over the roundabout. 180. I guess I can delete this. I don't want to delete that guy. Until I've made the, uh, the fin thing. Okay, let me do it. You're not going to let me, are you? Okay, let's do this. We're going to put these two little roads here. See if I can delete that. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get screwed up. Hopefully it doesn't get screwed up. Okay, so now I'm on the other side. I can page down. There. Okay, so that road is straight. I might even... Well, maybe in the future I'll design a roundabout with a pass-through over the top. going, And maybe this way would go underneath. And then we could have entrance, exit, entrance, exit if you want to turn left and right. That could be a cool idea, uh, but not right now. 
Um, not for this district, although it might look a little bit nicer. <laughs> um, one thing at a time. All right, come back, repair this. Good. Let's make our next little fin to about there. And then the entrance and exit ramps. Why don't you like that? Uh, you don't like the angle connecting there. All right, it's fine. No, no, come on, I saw it. There you go. All right, good. Uh, so we've got more starfish, and now I can delete this. At some point, I would like to come in and uh, decorate these guys. Um, I haven't done much like fiddly little tinkering decoration at all in this in this save. Okay. Uh, so let's grab this guy and continue him down all the way to here. There. Okay, uh, so now, before I draw in the rest of the roads here, let's move the high school back. While I've got, like, a lot of space available. And uh, things are still fairly flexible. Maybe right there would be pretty good. Okay, high school. Now the hospital needs to be kind of similarly centrally located. Probably good. And then we've got this little park. Maybe I'll put him next to that. And then we move this guy. Maybe we can find a better spot for him to hit a wider radius of people. I'm thinking right here. What's our what's in the way? This park's in the way. Alright, you're you're gonna get moved. We're just shuffling things around like those little puzzles that with the sliding tiles. All right, that's nice. Uh, oh, and it's got a high, the high school right across from that big park. Oh, not bad. Another thing I haven't messed with at all, I haven't done any bus stuff. I will eventually dive into buses and trains. This map isn't really that great for trains because I just recently got access to uh, trains to our, like, um, our connection to the outside world. Um... So it was hard to fiddle with trains before that. I haven't fiddled with buses or pathways for walking. And I will eventually do all those things. Okay, the firehouse. Were you there the whole time? Did I not move you? Let's look at these individually. Uh, healthcare is good. I've got a cemetery and a crematorium over here to like service basically this area. Um, let's see. Trash is all that stuff. Police. Did I move the police? Or that's firemen. Did I move the firemen? We've got one, two, three. Uh, I'm wondering if it might be more efficient to start switching everything to the fire stations and the police stations or headquarters. Okay, those seem fine. Okay, education, elementary schools. Those are good for now. The high school's fine. Uh, oh, and let's plop down a university while we're at it. The university is actually... Is this smaller than a high school? There we go. Bam. Okay. Uh, now that that's done, let's come back in. Let's fiddle with roads. I could probably... We could probably... We could probably unpause it. Yeah, we can unpause it at this point. Um, let's... Oop, that's not the right road. Connect you up. Oh, there's a park in the way. All right, move. Out of the way. Pig. There we go. Um, so um, we're, we're just gonna watch the traffic for a while and see if we fixed our issues. Like right now, it seems fine, but we just changed a bunch of stuff, so it might take a while to back up. A little congested up there, but I, l the roads are empty. Look at that. Uh, modern design. Modern design. Okay, now that I put that road through there, we've got one, like this little district has one two lane there, one there, and two there as access points. Oh, uh, maybe that's enough. This little playground, we can probably move him back somewhere better. You can come, like, up there, maybe? Um, okay, so this road's a bit awkward because it's very close to that intersection. So let's actually bring this road through here. There we go. 
And a bunch of new buildings have been moved in. Oh, I didn't look at uh, what happened to our population. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, so this guy, this little district here. I wonder if we should have it. this guy go through here. Yeah, maybe. Uh, these intersections are very close, but that's okay, because those are like the... There shouldn't be as much traffic going through there. Uh, we have an intersection there. Yeah, I think we're going to do okay. I think that's all right. We may ma micromanage a bit. But the traffic seems way better. I think I actually fixed something. <laughs> Look at that. This area has always had some traffic, but it's it gets backed up a little bit, but not much more than that. The dump trucks are... I keep calling them dump trucks. The garbage trucks seem to be doing better. Okay, let's come through and... Uh, Zone some of this stuff that got unzoned. And just sort of tidy up everything. Like a so. This is a really mixed area, so like the schooling isn't as efficient as it could be. Because I've got... Um, this guy, that's a, the wrong zone, I think, Mr. Tiny House. Yeah, I think I, I think I helped things a lot doing all that. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the zoning is all mixed up. Um, we'll just come back around and like fix it here and there. And the the, uh, the schools and whatnot aren't as efficient as they could be. Just the the way I laid it out. All right, so they want some commercial stuff and more houses and whatnot. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Boink. I wanted a green one. Okay, let's make this commercial. Just kind of zoning stuff more or less randomly at this point. Because we have a pretty even demand for three different types of things. Okay, but I think things are going well. Our energy is fine. Water is fine. Trash is fine. Uh, everything's fine. Yeah, I think we, we fixed some major problems. Trapezoid land isn't quite as trapezoidy anymore because of uh, the roundabout stuff, but uh, I, I think we had to do it. We had to fix that traffic problem. That was a nightmare. So that'll do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your comments below, feedback, thoughts, queries, inquiries, whatever. See you later. See you next time. Bye-bye.